Howdy folks, John Betty Ball. I'm doing a recording on the people, the wonderful people of rural Nova Scotia. I'm just back from Anakinish. There are many great people there as well. A lot of them came to the county, went to town to work, but they take, uh, I got the first drive from Church Street, gentlemen at Hedder and I had to get some rolls. In Lucent St. Andrews, he had his grandkids in at a fall fair. So you want some rolls? No, he says, my, my wife just made bread yesterday. And they planted a garden, he had potatoes they planted. They had made five batches of beets so far, and doing chow. And the resilience of the people. A uh, gentleman couldn't get over what was in the head of Owen McCarran to take and be pushing this dam against the will of 99.9% .9 of the people's wishes, this dam takeover of the county by the town, the town. Then next, I come up and get the rolls, and a fisherman gentleman, wonderful gentleman from Marguerite that fished all his life, sold his license, and uh, helps out a guy from Harbush. Fish in the springtime of the year. He loves it not. It's not for the money. It's for the love of being in the water and being by by shellfish. And they take in. So again, rural area. Knew the crab markets. Knew the lobster markets. Knew the people. Knew about farming. And they take in. I can tell you that the people that have built Nova Scotia, be it Cape Breton Island, the Marguerites, Inverness County, rural Lanarkinish County. They're the salt of the earth, kind, good people. I got to drive up to Anakinish this morning. I had, what, five, six errands? Get them all done. I was thinking, third car there, hop in. Gets me to Hedron, did my business. Next guy, hop in. They take the, it, there's a lot of good people out there, and there's a special spirit. The people of rural Nova Scotia, the guy that fish, fish, the, uh, uh, Shellfish, lobster. He sold his license, and now he's now he's he's goes out every spring helping a gentleman harbushy because he loves being underwater. Okay, they is men like those men like the that gentleman and fisherman that built this country. The farmers, the gentleman from St Andrews, uh, about fifteen minutes ago, and his wife Mick and the pickles. They, he he goes out to help another guy that's the older gentleman with the with his cattle. Okay. So he can keep us cattle and so on. So they, it, it's the it's resourcefulness. It's the resourcefulness of the people of rural Nova Scotia that have built this country. We can never forget that. There's nothing to be gained. Zilch nothing. I went up this morning, mentioned my driving away up a lady going into work, all the development at Beach Hill. The town envies that. Lust, envy. That's not good. The county's doing fine. We have no need zilch. Zero. None. None. It's bad stuff. Stay away from it. Let them. There's a lot of people in the town that want to keep their independent identity and want to do. I'm getting more and more. That's been really picking up. I get calls. I speak to a lot of people, regardless of where they're from. And there's a, there's a significant amount of people in the town of Anakinish want to maintain the status quo. As is the status quo. So with that, what in the name of God is in the head between the ears of Owen McCarran and that guy Glenn Horn and that uh, deputy Pontius Pilate out there in the in the Lock Harbor there, Huey uh, Stewart? What is in those guys' heads? The ninety nine point nine percent of the people don't want the milk nation, and now they're so chicken. They haven't, that Bushy one, Bushy one was on, it's going on two months since she was on the radio talking about the report coming out in late July, early August. Now we're coming on next week, it's going to be the second week of September. There, it's wrong, it's no good, it's bad stuff, and this is a tribute to the people of rural Lanaganish County, rural Nova Scotia, across our great province, and beautiful, beloved, blessed Cape Breton Island. These are the people that have built the country and keep it going. The guy that was going home to Marguerite had bought a door up in Anakinish, a door for purging was doing at home. And they take taken, so every other guy went in town to spawn to do some business, get parts or something, and, and was heading back home to St. Andrews. And he went, he had the kids in the fall fair. There was over 10,000 people went through the gates of the fall fair. Considering there's only about 4,000 people in the town, that means if everybody in town went to the fall fair, you'd still have 
one and a half times. They went from everywhere. They went to the fall fair. They loved it. It's the rural counties and country, the woodsmen, the fishermen, the farmers, the laborers. You're the people, the truck drivers. You're the people who build this country. It's not Owen McCarran. It's not Glenn Horn with his damn near $150,000 salary. It's not Huey Stewart. It's you, the people. Phone your counselors. Tell them, give them a piece of your mind. No to amalgamation. No. Deserves a vote. I've seen several signs that right in Main Street and Kanish today. Amalgamation deserves a vote. Not a little a click behind closed doors. With that, I gotta go. I wish all, I thank all you wonderful people, all you wonderful good people out there that do so much to help others. And I wish you all the best. God bless. But please phone your counselor and get it in your skull. Okay? That you do not want them to have this secret, underhanded, slimy, forcing down our throat, trying to force down our throat, amalgamation. Nobody wants. Nobody in the county, and an awful lot of people in town don't want it either. Power to the people! Thank you very much. Bye for now.